Today we're gonna actually enter the uh, the true epidemiological arena more and more. And when we have the one to do a study, okay, yeah, and then a research question, and then we're gonna need to start a study. Usually studies that say they're quite surveys. So when I can surveys we can and then sampling, which is objective, construct, or the demisel questionnaire, myself questionnaire, uh, cross sectional, the many are percentages, the many uh, how many people you know had this kind of characteristics. So how the this is what's called exploratory studies, okay, which is very common here in Kuwait. Um, yeah, uh, unfortunately, now we are restricted to this kind of studies because people obviously they ask the question and then suddenly they get bored and they don't pursue it so they just do the survey about diabetes and then that's it that can much of feel like they go further and further or someone survey about uh, cardiovascular disease or uh, asthma trends and then they just do a, a bar chart to, to all of these things however today those things are good to explore a research question, good to see if there is seriously a problem, but then you cannot establish causation, you cannot establish a true relationship out of it. And all of this, what we discussed before, this is, some, this is what's called descriptive epidemiology, okay? And then the second part, which is the, the deeper part, which is lacking liquid because unfortunately we lack such mentalities and talents, what's called analytic epidemiology. Okay, we'll talk more we'll talk later on about it, but today we need to differentiate in that epidemiology has two important parts of the epidemiological study design, which is called analytic, and what we're gonna be talking about today is descriptive. So, descriptive epidemiology, basically it classifies the occurrence of this according to the following variables. Very logical. You are basically classified people. And then persons who are affected had diabetes, did not have diabetes. Place when, below Kuwait, Saudi, Oman. Time. At what point of time? So that's why you have to when you when you do a cross section study, prevalence of diabetes in Kuwait between 2004 and 2016. You have a descriptive uh, uh, epidemiological study. Okay. It's for the person only for the uh, person who affected without person who has risk. No, this is where we cannot. Yeah, we cannot. There is no at risk here. Mm -hmm. There is no baseline. So very important point in the, in the, in the incidence. Why the incidence is more informative? An incidence to each magnitude. Yeah, and we are in the 10.5 person infected with tuberculosis per 100,000. Per year. Should I not have any 10 versus 100,000 per year? So, if you time component, if you have reference population, this is how severity is. I say the percentage of diabetes in Kuwait is 10%. And then a full stop. Did you like survey the whole Kuwait? You survey them. And then you said it's like 10%. No, you took a sample of 1,000 patients, percentage, and then that's it. But that does not tell you anything. That just tells you in the, in the sample, which could be representative, if you had 10% diabetic people. Okay? So that's very important, by the way. I'll let you go to Kumiya and Malum and now why NAS had to even for the medical field and then the physicians, they still can't distinguish between those two quantities. So that's why you have to be keen on this understanding of difference. Time when we when we think about characteristics, that's a very nice table in the When we want to do a study, to most of you guys, if not all, uh, uh, graduation project, the capstone, Mahikun, descriptive. You don't have time to do analytic because analytic epidemiology is a bit more complicated. Okay. Now, major descriptive biological variables are here and there. Of course, there are case reports. I have a case peculiar of something. Something very difficult. For example, the description of the case. Case serious. And now, more than case. 
and then I want to describe the series and I got a selfie work to my and I got to apply the cases either but then cross section which is the common part that at one point of time I take uh, people like you know I sample them or whatever and then we have descriptive epidemiology and descriptive epidemiological study which is basically more uh, derivative it's the same thing as cross section and descriptive epidemiology and descriptive epidemiology study it's more of the same thing so you don't have to have it however it's very nice in Antonio and Dicom what kind of variables? So when I think in him, when you want to design a study, descriptive, I will share. So with a chart, place, time, uh, uh, person. What well, how characteristics might the person to head? What characteristics might the place? What characteristics might the time? So that's the flow. Okay. Now the the thing is, when I do so we head this step. Okay. شيء طبيعي إيش بسوي؟ I want to see distribution. كم percentage diabetes? How many females أنا I sampled? How many people living in in the Assam government? How many people are overweight? How many people are underweight? How many people are asthmatic? So I'm starting to calculate percentages, mean weight, mean height. I'm starting to produce estimates of my sample as a way to get cross section. كل هذا خيرنا، which is very simple. We show for example rates of exposed breastfeeding socioeconomic characteristics among children born in 2012. Then we have kind of estimates, okay? Okay, so here so we have summaries. And then sample size, or how many of those would mean one sample size? which did breastfeeding three months and then and then and then six months. So, you know, uh, what we can get from kind of uh, descriptive epidemiology uh, studies like the cross-section, for example. Prevention of disease, design of intervention, conduct of additional research. However, descriptive epidemiology, when you say prevention of disease or design of interventions, I would still, like, again, disagree in some sense, and who will get up on TV, of course, and I have that come here because I don't want to confuse you. However, again, it does not. So, in logic, and Anna, again, I disagree because Anna, when I get a percentage of something, it's not like an incidence. So, so 10% may not, it's not, may not, it doesn't mean it's very intense because I'm not in baseline to any aqarim fi hashaw daima fi epidemiology. When you judge on something, yani, ahna mathal khan gul ahna. في الكويت اوكي مثلا يعني كان الكوست اوف ليفينج از هاي بس وذات سيت تو اسكت واي ناسري سامجي زين الكوست اوف ليفينج هاي ريليتيف تو وات شنو الريفرنس مالك سو احنا دائما ايميديولوجي وي كومبير اوكي سو فكبريفيشن اوف ذيس اوكي انا عندي المشكله هذه ممكن اي وود ساي ان اوكي ليتس تيل مثلا اي كان تيل الجفرمنت in the hand, we need to do more studies. We need to control. We need to start some kind of program, preventive. But however, we need to do more research on this. So that's why I would request additional funding. If I found a phenomenon, and I had a very significant B values, I have different statistically different uh, in the proportion of diabetic to non-diabetic in different population, or different samples or whatever, then I would say, okay, it's interesting. Now I need to do the next step. Now we do the first step, and then we stop. Okay, so that means again we say that this is very important that we focus on the conduct of additional research. Any idea? The percentages of you know the the breastfeeding, okay, who who women are that about forty three percent of infants were breastfed during the first month of their month of their life. Okay, shift the general and say the percentages. Only about twenty two percent breastfed through the age of. Six months. How many sample in the Anna Khareita in 2012? From script information, I bought for intervention to increase breastfeeding to be drive. طبعا هني أنا قاعد أشوف إنه هني مشكلة إن breastfeeding is a very important part of the child health. Okay, so أنا هني I'm making inferences. We'll target my objective. How how the the prevalence of breastfeeding. One of the sample multi for 2012. طبعا هذا it could change either. And it could be different from the previous year or the following year. 
but you can see and it was at one point of time 2012 okay now shouldn't aims of descriptive epidemiological studies permit evaluation of trends in health of disease they may show patterns trends provide a basis for planning provision and evaluation of health services basis and it's a start point so it's not like class in the end of the uh, it's like class yani fi the ultimate uh, uh, answers to the research question i did find problem to be studied by analytical epidemiology so احنا it's again the starting point where we need to think about once احنا نخلص مثلا the capstone project to survey the survey to shift in the phenomena مهم وكذا وكذا that's where you know you start again you think okay my question is seems to be important i got very important confidence interval and b values re related to my question well, regarding certain percentage like breastfeeding and then i then i think i start i need to do more depth into this like cohorts or case control studies which we're going to be talking about uh, later on which is but that's part of analytic epidemiology okay well, and the common parts are case report, case series, and cross-sectional. And the case report accounts for a single occurrence. Inshallah, Sarat, noteworthy. Rare phenomena. Okay. And the disease, well, I'm ready to share it. And I did any one of the case reports published from a colleague and, 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 and about uh, fungus, a uh, candida, which is caused respiratory infection and it's resistant to extreme antibiotics. So, uh, this is someone has super bug, Sarat, in Kuwait, candida. Okay, the mariyab did not was was not responding to treatment. So that's a very unique case of a superbug. It's a superbug that manata a fungus or a bacteria that does not respond to antibiotics, immune to antibiotics. Okay. And then here examples: bison encounters the stone. Bison encounters the any and no man can the buffalo wild. Okay, and then you know when you see a case of a buffalo encounter, it's a very simple. Adverse action to a cosmetic surgery in the United States. Imported rabid dogs. طبعاً هذه كلها part of case report. Incidents غريبة أول مرة تسي. Incubator case series is a larger collection of cases. Now الحين أنا عندي case واحدة of a super bug. الأسبوع اللي اللي بعده صار عندي two cases. اللي بعده عندي أربعة four cases six cases ten cases twenty cases. Then I'm having a series of cases. So number of cases increasing. And I still describe them. So you can see me mafi sampling. It's just in the convenient. I'm just encountering and describing. Okay, I'm describing trends. Hatta la manisa andi khangul andi maintain thalafimi thala wa sawi epidemic curve. Had a case series. So an epidemic curve is actually an example of a case series of a disease. La manisa andi crisis. And then he reported case of primary meningitis. It have a sahari. Okay. 120 cases reported between 1937 and 2007. Primary exposure source uh, fresh water in lakes and rivers. طبعا مرات يكون البكتيريا تكون موجودة في البحيرات هناك في أمريكا ممكن تكون بسبب parasite like amoeba or or could be other types of bacteria. You know that could cause source kind of التهابات في الغشاء المخ المخ. Had a case series, which is basically epidemic curve. Why it's a one epidemic curves? Okay, so I talk about that. Had a straightforward. خلاص بس كح كح هاتو. يعني بدأنا في. راح نسوي بعد أكثر ترى epidemic curves. So why? Into if you just know how to, يعني plot trends and then describes them. This is part of the basic skill as an epidemiologist. So that's why يعني ما مطلوب مننا نقص. Uh, cross-sectional, a type of investigation that examines the relationship between disease and other variables. So, I need okay, I need childhood diabetes. Should should the factors the statistically significantly associated with it? So, and then weight, it could be diet, exercise, exposure to mention at the same time, at one point of time, it's a snapshot. Example, and the behavior risk factors of various system. اللي هو خلينا المحاضرة اللي طافت ال behavior risk factor surveillance system which conducts an ongoing survey of health related behavior of U.S. residents. Well, by the way, this is a very important type of surveillance system. نظام تقصي وضائح ال behaviors 
Yeah, the behavior nafsa is really related to many types of diseases. Well, ma andin ahna hashif liquid, so it's a very part of a very important program that need to be established. We mina actually surveillance data, surveillance data, the data that the nas yamunha min nabam surveillance, the surveillance that yinna huwa systematic collection of data, analysis and processing. We bade yin talla minha inferences, we bade yin talla minha decision making. Or a pre-specified action to that type of one. An installation of a study of prevalence of healthy sleep pattern in among Americans. Sleep pattern, behavior. It's a behavior. Finance is wrong. Finance is not among the health. Finance is not among the Okay, any any other. Of course, we know that if you have a good sleeping pattern, you will always become younger and healthier. But if you don't sleep ten, three hours per day, it will. And the good thing about the down for the cross section, of course. هذا البارت أنا I feel إن دائما analyzing surveillance data is more valuable than questionnaires يعني when you have access to surveillance data or registries or people recording because this is the data that you have it's more valuable and فيها richer information فيها واحد في عندكم people مجموعة ten ten thousand people ده شو surveillance system or registry Okay, and then they look at the diabetic, the non-diabetic, and this is the association characteristic. Although it's a convenient sampling, it doesn't work with the traditional statistical methods. However, this information gives you more value rather than you design a random system or whatever sampling, and you go through government and you pick and choose between those. We take a sample of two to three hundred, it's a bit not really informative as much as when you deal with an actual registry itself which has the actual data which has the actual data so that's when some people describe which one do you prefer a survey or or uh, a registry i would say a registry is more valuable okay and we any age adjusted percentage of adults who reported seven or more hours of sleep per 24 hours period by state and we can see here uh, and here percentage of the area of the Midwest, Akthar. Uh, the Midwest, the one who is 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 الستيتس مثلا نشوف هناك اللي فيها اقل سليبنج اورز تكون دائما مثلا فيها العاصمه اكثر تكون السيتي فيها اكثر يا يعني نيويورك دي سي وايد بيزي هذول الاماكن فتشوفوا الناس تن تو سليب ليس وايد شغل يعني يصير انزين هاوفر تشوفون السيتيز اللي تكون في النص اللي ما حد يسافر لها تكون فيها ناس اقل ايكونومي اقل اكتيفيتيز اقل تكون الناس موست لايكلي تو بي سليبنج مور بس ستيل يعني هذا جست سبيكليشن بيست اون المعلومات هذه. ناو بروسيس اوف ايبيديمولوجيكال ثينكينج. ديسكريبتيف ايبيديمولوجي احنا وي جونا جو فروم ذا ليفت احنا بدايتنا بعدين انتل وي جو انتل ذا اند اوف ذا كورس وي جو تو ذا مور تو ذا رايت. سو تو ذا ليفت عندنا هو وات وير وين هاو ماني دائما احنا وي نيد تو اس دوس كايند اوف فيكتور. اند ذا رول اوت تشانس بايس Confounding, descriptive ideology. طبعا هني عندنا design, we conduct analysis, interpretation. So we احنا نصمم, نسوي الدراسة, نجمع المعلومات, نسوي لها statistical analysis, and then we start to think interpretation. What does that mean? ودائما you can see هني بالنص making comparison, observation. However, I need to compare. Very important part of ideological thinking. Test generate hypothesis. And then we'll talk about ideological thinking. So on how that's a way of how we need to map our work. And when people call us to think about a problem, this is how we usually think about it. Now, should person variables are common? And then a sex, age, race, ethnicity, socioeconomic status, other examples, marital status, nativity, place of origin, migration, religion. But how that should be a straight multiple choice question. Okay. Age is perhaps the most important factor. As you age, as you have, you are susceptible to risk factors and diseases. 
and that's why now we always need to do or report or think about reporting age specific disease rates okay we need to adjust for age during this which shows greater variation in risk defined by almost any other person had to know kind of age significant we still need to go deeper into it because sometimes it could uh, uh, direct the statistical association might be more significant but then when I start to uh, uh, stratify and then do my analysis again I would say like there is a significant association at least with specific age strata what is age strata? this is the age group that we have to do that's a bar chart and then in instance and mortality from chronic diseases increases with age معروف هذا الشيء and then a few diseases that are related to children okay again you can see age كلها age leading cause of death among young adults is unintentional injury okay young adults are reckless متحورين بالسياقة والأمور هذه كلها that sometimes they have no sense of they usually tend to be injured Maternal age is associated with rates of diabetes and related complications. That's also a very common thing. Well, how is someone a trend? Now, when so we lines, which is basically any and then a rate, okay, per, per 1,000 women, the one had incidence in a rate, per 1,000 women, okay. We, we, we will rate how they go through time, which is between 1960 until 2004. We have three lines, rate for age 18 to 19, 15 to 19, and 15 to 17. We can see here how it's very informative. Uh, uh, birth rate for female age between 19 and by the age in the United States. And then sex, also a very important variable. The genetic study have shown sex differences in the Y of diamond. The male are more uh, susceptible to uh, prostate females breast cancer, so that's a very common thing that we need to think about. And then all causes specific age mortality are higher among males. And this should be more, and we stratify by age, and then we stratify by gender. So we are going deeper into that relationship, more complicated way. Any idea? Leading sites of new cancer cases and death, طبعاً from 2006 incidents. وقاعد نشوف إن هني في differences between the percentages of and types of cancers. Okay, and then the estimated new cases, people who are actually affected and showing the disease, and then people who died from that disease. And we can see, for example, in the few similarities, for example, the pancreatic cancer. However, there are, and also colon and rectum, but the prostate will, will breast are differences. And then here, for example, this is what I'm talking about, deaths. Three similarities uh, in most of the common diseases that are not really different between males and females, but however, if there are aggressive differences in cancers that are different between male and female. Okay. And you can see, like, in, 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 they are similar in everything with the exception of when we talk about breast and prostate. Race, ethnicity, of course, a disease. As Kuwaitis, we are mostly kind of homogeneous in a way of characteristics and socioeconomic status. However, we always forget how we talk about Kuwait, Kuwait, Kuwaitis, and we are just 1.4. We're in a 3.5, which is part of your society. Mm -hmm. oh, and if you ignore their health, there will be implication on your health. Okay, so their ethnicities, nationalities are very important in the way in which are. And again, plus and uh, nationalities, people have different uh, behaviors, different food, dietary behavior, different lifestyle. So it's very important to that. Nativity and, and uh, ethnicity, it's basically the same thing in the U.S. and, and there are more deeper issues related to this. Racial and ethnic categories, and then a white, African-American, Asian, Chufun and Nahadol, completely different. Yani Asian are different than black people, okay? Chufun and this would really make, make sense in the Rika, Khususa and Nahadol. ما عندهم يعني هناك ما عندهم homogeneity 
to you as citizens as we have here. And Latin America is more diverse, so that's why we always have to account for race and, and uh, ethnicity when we talk about that. Of, of different races in the United States in 2014. It's a bar chart, so again, the age adjusted. Percentage of adult age 18 and older with asthma. We can see in that it's diff it differs. The percentages kind of differ in terms of asthma per ethnicity. Okay. Coronic diseases, we can see in the hatta here difference differs. Non-diagnosed chronic conditions, Hispanic, black, not Hispanic, white, only not Hispanic. So we show in the undiagnosed chronic condition tend to be in Hispanic and black people. They are more usually poorer. How the more related to the United States, we are not sure why. However, this is something maybe we think about it, and I did not see in the more true studies tends to overlap with Asian religions. Some scientists propose that it is a social construct. Rather than a biological construct. If I go look, I mean, the issue of gender and ethnicity, they should be a shell of social constructs. They should be a shell of the utopia, the hassasia. So if you have any health consequences. Anyway, back to our stuff. Yes. And then, hence, socio-economic status. Socio-economic status is also very important because it means the quality of life. There is no health without wealth, and there is no wealth without health. For, for people who tend to be with higher socioeconomic status, tend to, will have more better health, less risk factors. People with less economically and economic diamond, من أفضل يكونون diamond, more likely to have diseases and risk factors. لو مر هذه كلها. Yeah, for هذا هني عندنا socioeconomic status. However, diamond, إحنا الحين مو مسألة لها diamond. And people who have more socioeconomic status will tend to have put their children into uh, uh, private schools. Into a show, we into it. Put in the survey, my child, into a school government or a school special. Because this will have future consequences. Way of lifestyle. And this is the thing. And so, you see, 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 Okay, the lack of white or more معينة ممكن تأدي حق risk factor. Now, in the social class gradient, strong inverse association social with the levels of morbidity and morbid mortality, which is basically the strong inverse. معناته كل ما زاد social economic status قلت المortality والمorbidity. كل ما قل social economic status زاد المortality والmorbidity. يعني علاقات عكسية. عكسية ومعروفة. ما في لا يمين ولا يسار. Everyone in the whole world. هذا it's well known. زين يعني أبسط شيء access to dental care. زين إحنا ك educated clean people we have to care about our teeth because your teeth is your health. Okay. Poor people dental care is their less least priority. Okay. So that's why they tend to be be susceptible to many diseases. Health disparities, differences in the occurrence of disease and adverse health condition in the population. And the cancer health disparity, adverse differences in cancer incidence, new cases, cancer prevalence, or existing cases. And cancer uh, death, mortality, survivorship burden of cancer condition that exists among specific population groups in the United States. So how do someone have Kind of health disparities. When you make the example of cancer, children disparities might be cancer. Adverse differences in cancer incidences, new cases, all existing cases, mortalities, survivorship, people who survive, people who don't survive. Father here thinks in disparities. Now, among African American, in comparison with other group, have the highest age adjusted over all cancer incidences and death rates. Okay, so how they are often in the United States, and that's why. If we eliminate our study in ethnicity, our race, we are ignoring the confounding variable, the results are not biased. When you have no dental visit in the past, you know, person who, uh, with natural teeth by age and percentage of uh, poverty level in the United States. 
هني برسنت بافرتي وهني نشوف ليس لايكلي كيما زادت البافرتي ليس لايكلي هاف يو نو اكسس تو دنتال كير الحين تو اللي سويناها اللي هي شنو البيرسون البيرسون فاريبلز السكند بارت اندر ان تايم سوري بليس فاريبلز انترناشونال ناشونال ويذن ذا كونتري اربن ويذن ديفرنت جفرنتس هني بالكويت لوكاليز باترن اوف ديزيز And the World Health International, which is on the highest level, and who is responsible for this? Not me, not you. It's the World Health Organization. And then, both infection and chronic diseases show great variation from one country to another. Climate, cultural factors are important. National dietary habits and access to healthcare affect disease occurrence. Okay. Variation life expectancy. U.S. ranked number 42 in 2014. اوكي طبعا هني هم ريليتد تو لايف اكسبكتنسي امونج كونتريز احنا الكويت الحمد لله عندنا ون اوف ذا هايست لايف اكسبكتنسي اوكي بيكوز اوف هيلث كير اوكي ويتش از يعني اولسو ا جود انديكيتور معناته احنا ما نصير بعد وايد نيجاتيف مع قطاع الصحه قطاع الصحه هاف تشالنجز ايشوز هاوفر ستيل سينس وي ار اتشيفينج ا فيري جود لايف اكسبكتنسي معناته اور هيلث كير ان جنرال الكويت از ايزي از جود Although we are always quite a bit ambitious, we we always want to seek better than what we have. An example of intervention uh, decreasing in incidence globally, and then 2013 epidemic Ebola remained in Afghanistan, Nigeria, and Pakistan. And they themselves get to come self at the nasty world in the vaccine is a way to ahead, which is a lot. What's a crime? Yani, in the end, we stop this. It's going to be a catastrophe. Unfortunately, there are few people they don't vaccinate their children because of that. People quit, yeah, any big movement. National within countries, I'm still quit. Regional differences may affect prevalence and incidence of disease, climate, latitude, environmental pollution. I would say now, healthy climate, really quit. It's almost not that different. However, there are differences sometimes between the north and south of Kuwait. Okay, latitude, no. Flat surface, so latitude is not important. The low level of temperature. So environmental pollution, it's a, it's very important. Few people are near the oil refineries. We're not talking about few people are away. The other thing we have in our studies, we haven't seen it yet. Is that people who are in the proximity of of power grids, the people who are close to these oil refineries, the people who are in the Gulf of Syria. هذا most likely they have a childhood leukemia. هذا الإلكترون المغناطيسي فيلد may be related to it. وعندنا إحنا childhood leukemia اللي كويت مستوى عالي. but however no one does هذا. هذا place variable. so إذا تدرسين شنو تأثير the proximity من the power grids in the instance of childhood leukemia. okay. so هذا part of that. look. But the state wide world has diamond and it's a huge continent. For diamond, there are huge differences in terms of spatial, spatial or place. Place could be spatial, spatial, but not a place. For diamond, show percentage in his talk and show fee. It's very important to map. We in the Kuwait, we focus on mapping in the level of municipalities. Because every municipality has different. Because the area around it. غالباً ومبارك الكبير maybe they are are more likely to be the same lifestyle maybe بالجهرة things are a bit different in terms of lifestyle okay في a lot of sensitivity toward that however you know like we still need to do يعني مثلاً يعني إحنا بالنهاية يس كويتيين بس البدو والحضار وكذا في لهم different lifestyle صح ولا and we cannot ignore that and they have different risk factors صح ولا يعني في ناس أربعة وعشرين ساعة يوشو ووو والإكسرسايز هابت إس نوت بارت أوف ذير كولتشر في أمور معينة نوت بارت هاو في ناس مور دينايزد يعني إنزين في ناس كذا ففي بدو متحضرين وفي مثلا كذا فهذه الأمور كلها إتس نوت أباوت إحنا وي ديسكريمينيت إتس أول أباوت إن إيفري يعني بارت أوف ذات كان يكون هاف سام كايند أوف هيلث ديفرنسز ونشوف مثلا من ديفرنت المستشفيات بالعدان مرضى غير الستركتشر مالهم عن مبارك عن الاميري تشوفين في ديفرنت ثينجز هني ويتش از بيسكلي هم مناطق وهذا بليس فاريبلز اربن رورال احنا ما عندنا اربن رورال بالكويت 
في ناس هنا ارياف احنا ما عندنا ارياف في الكويت هاوفر الناس اللي they live in villages مع انه لو كريس بتن اوف ديزيز عندنا اسوشيتد انفايرمنتال فاكتور طبعا هنا في اماكن معينه لها كاركترستيك مثلا بليسز هو ار اون اون كلوز بروكسيميتي اوف اويل ريفاينري ويل تند تو هاف مور ميبي اسما بريفلنس اور انسيدنس انزين Environmental issues, طبعاً environmental issues, it's gonna be more bigger on finding on bigger scales. Arsenic and water supply, basically people who have their own, مثلاً محطة خلوا إحنا عندنا إحنا different water distillation stations. Okay, so أنا ما أعطيتكم break. لا. إذا هيك توش أقولكم. اوكي خلينا ناخذ خمس دقائق ستريتش اوت في هني هني ذا بريزنس اوف ديزيز فيكتور بون ديزيز سوشيال فيكتور بون ديزيز ديزيز اللي تنقلها الانسكت نفس البعوض مال بعوض انا الحين انا كنت اسبوع اللي طاف بامريكا كان عندي كونفرنس كان ريسيرش مالي على فيكتور بون ديزيز كوب بلو تونغ واستخدمت المشين ليرنينج بارت اوف ذا ريسيرش تو ايدنتيفاي الانفايرمنت البليسز وير most likely you can find a disease. والأماكن هذه يكون فيها شنو مور فيكتور فيها مور بعوض وفيها مور التمبرتشر فيريشن فيها مثلا درجات الحرارة تختلف. فهذه الأماكن كلها كانت سبيشال يعني اللي ما يكون متوفر فيها نوعا ما درجة حرارة معينة وخضرة معينة ونسبة بعوض معينة the most likely to get فيها المرض هذا. فهذه دائما related حق السبيس. When you just affected dengue fever outbreak. والاماكن and then you start to map the prevalence with low norm which is basically يعني واضح عندنا من ناحية ال place variable عندنا temporal time variables okay secular trends cyclical point epidemic of clustering secular trends refers to gradual change the frequency of disease over a long time period examples yearly suicide rates so a secular trends اللي هي شنو There is a trend. Basically, there is a pattern, but it's not cyclical. Maybe the disease will get worse, but it will slowly ascend. Then it will become more stationary. Then it will become more stationary. But there is no repeated pattern. Okay. Next slide. So, what we see here is there is a pattern, but it's not a repeated pattern. So it's a cyclical trend, cyclical trend. Okay, when you're based on adjusted uh, mortalities, which is basically when you can use the incidence or the prevalence, and you can show it how it differs. Yeah, you can just put on the y-axis the percentage of the prevalence and the years, and then you have different lines for different ages or different females, and you can identify trends. So, when you get to find the cut, the the end of the cut, the cut here, if you are putting points, then you can see the cut. So, this is the line. This is how we can construct. Any hypertension, trends of hypertension and control hypertension on adults age 18 years and over. Controlling the controlled hypertension or uncontrolled hypertension. Controlled hypertension, I mean, yeah, someone who takes a drug and he's like trying to control it. Any cyclic trends, increase and decrease. Wow, like influenza. On a yearly basis, severe weather events in Atlantic Basin, mortality rate of pneumonia and influenza peaks during February. So, how it needs someone have cyclic. How the typical goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down, goes up, goes down. Point source, fidget smoking, to have to start feeling people are poisoned or they are vomiting or they are reaction other. It's a point source. It's a one at one point of time. So I mentioned this bit to someone. Contaminations, other ecological factor, outbreak of vibrio. Vibrio is part of the foodborne diseases. Basically, disease that my phone but low with the same with I. Hand point source can people could be affected from the manisir في عندنا سالفة العاصير ولا عاصير نسبة الوفيات at that point of time. That's a point source. Now, clustering a closely grouped uh, series of events or case.
cases of a disease or other health-related phenomena with a well-defined distribution pattern. So here in dinner, clustering in طبعا هنا سالفة الكلاسترينج من ناحية ال 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 سواء كلاسترينج اجريجيشن اوف كيسز ات ا سيرتن بوينت اوف تايم ولا اجريجيشن اوف كيسز ان سبيسيفيك بليس هذا يسمونه كلاسترينج سو بيسيكلي هنا يصير في نوع ما مثل تكتل اوكي ان سبيس اند تايم هنا طبعا ان تايم فهنا نشوف number of uh, post vaccination uh, syncope episodes reported to vaccine based event reporting system by Mount Neil of the United States between any related to either fee clustering of events من ناحية سالفة اللي هو vaccination Figure out sync up episodes Temporary loss of consciousness? Yes, yes, exactly. Related to? Vaccine lack of episodes reported to vaccine adverse event reporting system by month, month, and year in the United States. Vaccine adverse event reporting? Yeah, includes person aged less than five years who had sync up uh, onset after vaccination on the same date. And the time the time the time after, yes, exactly, after taking a vaccine. Then in 2005, okay, when did it need meningococcal conjugate vaccine? When did it in 2005, February 10th, 2005, and June 2019, 29th, of 2005, had the genie date on which adverse community and immunization practice had decided to add this newly licensed vaccine, vaccine to the vaccine from the children program. And then in the HPV, quadrate human papilloma recombinant vaccine, vaccine is licensed only for females. Okay. So here you can show in the fee uh, clustering of cases that are related to certain type of event happen. Okay, so basically type of vaccine in which the vaccine, and it should have in the story. So we're telling you in that, the when you see aggregation of a certain cases or phenomena, they may be a relation into an event. So here, the same thing is that the MCV4 has the gene in it. The study of meningococcal conjugate vaccine was applied. Okay. In February 2010, when we had a date in which adverse community immunization practice decided to add this new license vaccine. So here, a time component that relation into an event that is associated with it that could lead to the cluster. So when we see the schedule, a certain moment or phase or time moment, there is something that happened that led to that thing. Okay. So here, I'm going to show you the pictures that you see in the day of the talk. I'm going to show you what happened today that led to that shape of cluster. واضحة الفكرة؟ بس. Clustering often used to describe aggregation of uncommon conditions such as leukemia. Uncommon condition. Syncope is also called also an uncommon condition. Clustering might be reflect common exposure to an antigen agent, changes uh, chance occurrences, sometimes chance, when the spatial aggregation of events in geographical relation and temporal clustering. So I think that spatial clustering, aggregation in a place, aggregation in time. Clustering مرات تصير تذكرون سالفة الكوليرا مالت جون ستون. اوكي. ليش في ناس كان في كلاسترينج لوين؟ صوب البومبس اللي في كانت ملوثة في الكوليرا. رايت؟ 
سو so, الحين عرفنا طبعا شنو هو الديسكريبتيف ايبيديميولوجي اوكيرنسز اوف ديزيز اكورد تو فاري اوكيرنسز تايم بلايز ديسكريبتيف ايبيديميولوجي ستديز ايد ان جنريتي هايبوثيسز ذات ار اكسبلين باي اناليتيكال ايبيديميولوجي سو بعدين راح نتكلم على السيكوينت انكلود كيس ريبورت كيس ستديز اند جنرال سكشن ستديز فيري ايزي سو فار صح؟ ما في وايد صعوبات اوكي نور 